So we were talking about uh, this idea that the, the cell is bigger than the nucleus and the nucleus is bigger than chromosomes which are bigger than DNA which is bigger than genes because genes are a section of DNA. Um, so what, what is a gene? What does that mean when we talk about you know this idea of, of a gene? So let me tell you that it was often thought that we had uh, for every one gene we would make one protein. You know, and that was the idea that one gene in fact, there was a hypothesis there were one gene, one polypeptide, which is a protein. Okay, but um, what we found out later that sometimes we have certain genes that don't always go that way. So a little more about that in a second here. But let's also define two other terms here. The term is genotype and phenotype. So a genotype, it's got the word gene right in there. These are your genes. Okay, and phenotype has the pH in there. This is like the, the physical or behavioral or behavior, these physical traits. Okay, so that's what makes them up. Um, and, you know, we include in here um, this thing called alleles. Okay, quick thing about genes versus alleles. Um, so, you, you can have genes for just about any, anything. You can have a height gene, you can have a eye color gene, you can have all sorts of different types of genes. But, um, you know, these genes are, are, are about what's, what becomes, what will turn into, you know, they code for a trait. Okay, and the word allele, or allele, that's not right. Allele. Allele is a form of a gene. An example might be, um, there might be a gene for height. And the allele is you could be tall or you could be short. Those are two different alleles for that height gene. Okay. So, um, getting back to this idea of this one gene and one uh, protein um, issue. Uh, he's orange with this one. So one gene, one protein. We found that it's not always the case. Um, so we could have these different traits. We could have like something called PKU. You know, PKU is, stands for phenylketonuria. And what happens with them is they are not able to take um, they can't metabolize phenylalanine. Okay, phenylalanine normally is um, broken down into tyrosine. Okay, but in fetal ketonuriax, that doesn't happen. Now, because of that, there's all sorts of other things that come along with it. Um, and unfortunately, um, there's things like uh, mental mental retardation, mental issues. Um, you could also have um, some pigmentation issues um, coming from the hair and skin pigmentation. How dark it is. It's usually it's usually decreased pigmentation in those kind of things. Um, and then also um, we have issues with uh, eczema. I think this is the spelling here. That looks right. Okay, eczema, which is a sort of a skin disorder. Okay, so notice that this one gene causes multiple things to go wrong with it. Okay, so when we say one gene, one protein, it is really one gene that causes this protein. There's an enzyme here. So there's an enzyme that is missing, that normally will fit right there, um, it's gone. And so because of that, uh, we can't break that down. Okay, so, but 
one gene, one trait. Notice I didn't say that. Not one gene, one trait. There's multiple traits that come along with this. Okay, another example. Read letter B. We're going to talk about sickle cell anemia. Okay, so sickle cell anemia, um, it causes a change, change in hemoglobin. Okay, so we're still talking about one protein, this hemoglobin, that has a one amino acid difference. There's something like, oh, I gotta remember here, 300 plus amino acids in, I'm um, oh, sorry, 200 like 30 something amino acids that are in um, this um, hemoglobin protein. And there's one difference. And one difference causes a major change in that protein. So we're talking about less than 1%, less than like a third of a percent. Very small, small, small change. Okay, well, the change in hemoglobin causes the, normally the red blood cells are kind of this regular disc shape. They become this sickle shell, sickle cell. Kind of looks like a, you know, guy who's got that sickle that's cutting off the wheat and everything like that. Okay, um, this also causes low oxygen in the blood. Um, and it causes some problems with cardiac failure. Um, any tissue where this which was really flexible is now become very rigid and gets kind of caught in the blood vessels, gets stuck and there's like a big like log jam in those blood vessels because of that and that because it causes an issue can't carry as much oxygen we have cardiac failure because we're getting blocked in those areas um, and renal failure another one here renal or kidney failure okay both of those have issues there altogether okay so these are where we have one gene you know it could be it could be again we could have one trait or we could have one gene for many traits. Okay, notice these are examples of many traits. Okay, so let's look at the opposite of the example. Alright, so now we can also have where we have um, what are called polygenetic traits. So for example, I mentioned height, and I should also mention an eye color. are what are called polygenetic. Okay, which means that there are now instead we have many genes that cause one trait. Let's change that, sorry. Many genes, let's cross it out. Many genes, one trait. Okay, it's a top one. Sorry about that mess. So, um, what really happens if you imagine here's a gene, here's a gene, here's a gene, here's a gene, here's a gene. Let's say for um, uh, even the skin tone, let's say. Let's say you get the, the dominant, dominant, but then you get recessive, recessive. That's about like kind of like halfway, you know, half dark, half light. But then you add these up, you might have another dominant, recessive, you know, recessive, recessive recessive, recessive, and these start adding up. So I count one more, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven light, seven little Ds, and I got one, two, three, and three dark, so you get a little bit lighter complexion because of that. So they kind of add up, and the same goes for height. And so you end up with these traits that have this interesting, you know, kind of bell-shaped curve to them, okay? Um, with most people fitting in the average about halfway there, okay? So hopefully that helps. And just keep in mind that you know one gene usually still means one protein, but it could be one gene, one trait, one gene, many traits, or many genes to be one trait. Depends on the situation. Okay.